Welcome back to the unit on functions. The main purpose of this video is to talk about how to get information into a function. Before we do that, I want to talk about the concept of a, a special function called main. When you're writing Python programs, one way to keep them organized is to put everything into a function. And so most Python programmers, uh, when they're writing programs, always include what's called a main function. So I'm going to do def main parentheses and that should be your lowermost function and I'm going to copy these print spam a lot function calls into my main function and again this should the main function is always your your bottom most call and then the last line of my program should always be main, which means run the main function. And when I run it, you can see it had the same output as the last time. The only difference is I've kind of encapsulated these function calls into one main function. And again, it's just a really nice way to organize your program. So from now on, when you're writing programs, you'll always have a main function that's major purpose is to call other functions of your program. Again, it modularizes it to make it much easier to read and follow by a human reader. So now that we've talked about the purpose of the main function, let's talk about getting information from one function to another. To do this, I'm going to use the example of the area of a square. So I'm going to create a function. I'm going to call it area of a square. Put my parentheses and my colon. And I know that the area of a square equals the side of a square to the second power. Remember the two asterisks mean to the power. And then I'll just print the area. Okay, so this function is going to take the side of a square, square it, and then print that out. So down here in my main function, I'll say the side of the square equals, let's say, 5. And then I'll call my area of a square function. And what it should do is it should take the side and it should then calculate the side squared and print it out. So let's go ahead and run that function. And I get an error. It says the global name side is not defined. And you can see it's underlined in red, which means there's a problem there somewhere. The reason it's not defined is to do with something called scope. And variables only exist within the function that they are defined in. So right now here, side is 5, and it's in the main function. That means no other function is aware that that side, that variable side, even exists. We say that this, this side, this variable, is in the scope of the main function. This side is in the scope of the area of a square function. This side and this side don't know about each other. They can't, they can't communicate between functions. So then how do we tell our area of a square function that the side even exists? Well, we could put side equals 5 up here, but that means every time we wanted to change the function, we'd have to change it in that function. And as you'll start to see as you program more complicated programs, You'll be, you might be using someone else's code that you can't actually go in and change the, the, the numbers in there. You have to find a way to get information to that function. So how do we do that? Well, we do that with something called parameters. So up in our area of a square, we know that we're going to need the information called side. And now this side, and you can see that it highlighted in blue, this side and this side are the same but they're still different from this side. And you can see local variable side is not used. So we have to tell this function that this is the side we want. Well, the way we do that is we put the variable in our parentheses as a parameter. So in the area of a square, we put side in the parentheses, and it's called a parameter. It means when we call it, we have to put the same parameter in the parentheses. So now, when I use this area of a square function, it's sending the value of the variable side to this function. Now it's used to calculate 
the area and print it out. Let's go ahead and print that to see how that works. And you can see that the, the area is 25 when I square it. Well, this is great for one parameter, but what if I want to use more than one parameter? If I want to find the area of a rectangle, I need more than just a side because they may not be equal. I actually need the length and the height. So I want to change my area of a square function to area of a rectangle. And instead of just a side, I need the length and the height. And the area becomes length times height. And I still have to print the area out. So again, area of a rectangle is length and height. So it's going to expect two parameters. And it's going to multiply those two and then print that area back. OK, so down in my main function, I'm going to show you a little something different here. I'm going to call my length L equals 5, and my height H equals 6. And notice that these are not the same as length and height. It's just L and H. When I call the area of a rectangle function, let me back up for one second and see something again. Notice when I start typing, it's saying I, I'm the parameter length and height, which means I have to pass it two pieces of information. I hit enter, and the two pieces of information I want to pass it are the L and the H, because those are the variables that I've defined within my main function. When, it, when this function is called, it passes the L to length and the H to height. It's the same order. Whatever the first one is, it goes to this first parameter. Whatever the second one is, it goes to the second parameter. Notice that these names do not have to be the same because they don't care. They're in different scopes. So let's go ahead and see if that works. I'll run that. And it's 30 because it's 6 times 5. And if I change this to 10 and 9, I should get 90. Let me run it again and I get 90. So if I change those numbers, it doesn't matter. Um, the function still gives me the correct answer. A key, th key thing to remember is if your function calls for two parameters, you have to send it two parameters. If I just gave it one, like for example, let's say these are the same. Length and height were 10. I, it, I could think, well, since they're the same, I'll just pass it one of those parameters because it's both the same. Now if I run it, it says area of a rectangle takes two arguments, only one is given. Because I only gave it one piece of information when it wanted two. Okay, so if your function defines two, you have to pass it two. So in this lesson, we learned how to pass information from one function to another one. In the next unit, we'll talk about how to get information back from a function.